Welcome back survivors, it's Shane Wynn here. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Gotcha, one of the most unique and interesting and also a very, very strong creature to have in Ark, especially early game. So stick around to the end because I'm going to teach you guys how to tame, where to find, what to level, how to use, and a bunch of tips and tricks that people just don't know about. This guy is very confusing as far as stuff that goes on about him. So let's get right into it, okay? So the very first thing is what you actually need to tame a Gotcha. And that's going to be this thing right here. Greenhouse structures is what you want. You can literally tame this guy with anything underneath the sun. But the most effective thing that you can use uh, as for resources is going to be greenhouse walls. And so that's what you're going to want to use. I would bring at least 120 if you're unofficial trying to tame a, uh, a 150 gotcha. And so yeah, so let's get right into it. So here is the gotcha. And literally, it, it's, it's a very quick tame. You just need the supplies to actually tame it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here and just drop the greenhouse structures right in front of him. And as you can see, it's going to start taming. He's going to eat stacks of 20 at a time and boom, congratulations, you have just tamed your gotcha. Now, you're probably very excited that you've tamed your gotcha, but you might be wondering what to level on this guy. Okay, and what are good stats? I'm not going to go over the stats, but I will tell you what the level. Because the only thing that matters is going to be crafting skill. You want to get this as high as possible because I'm sure you are aware that the gods drops crystals. If you're not, we're about to get into that. The higher level your crafting skill, the better your crystals are going to be. And there's going to be two thresholds. One at 160 crafting skill and one at 260% crafting skill. At 160% crafting skill, the gotcha can max produce whatever resource he's going to do right so that's one big thing you want to get to and at 260 percent crafting skill that's the best loot that you can get from the crystals that are going to drop with the rarities so now let's go over the gotcha's abilities okay so as you might have seen he drops all of these crystals okay and what these crystals do is they give you the resource that you choose on this guy each gasta each gotcha can start producing resources, right? Uh, each gotcha has a variation of six different resources with an overall, I think, of 27 different resources that it can produce. Uh, it can have three common resources that it produces right over here on the right side, two uncommon in the bottom left-ish, and then the very rare one in the far left, okay? And these change with every single gotcha. The gotcha that you want to get is going to be an element dust gotcha, because elements, you know, you can really turn out a lot of element uh, with these guys. And it's just going to be very, very nice to have these guys. Especially on a map like Valgaro or something. Okay. And so, the default is normally set to any. But you could select what resource you want these gotchas to produce. And whenever he drops a crystal, that's going to be the resource that you collect. So, as you can see, 120 sand, 120 green gems. And I have sand and green gems selected on these gotchas. So that's what I'm getting out of these, right? Now, there are 24 different resources that the gotcha can produce. There is nine common resources that it can produce, seven uncommon resources that it can produce, seven rare resources that it can produce, and then element dust being a very, very rare resource. Now, you're also going to see some rarities, okay, on the gotcha crystals, like ramshackle and apprentice and primitive. Okay, these rarities will give you loot. So if I were to sit here and open up, you know, Ramshackle one, I just got boom, Ramshackle right gauntlets, which is gonna be awesome. It's gonna help me run turrets, help me do boss fights, all this stuff. So it is very, very nice. Boom, Apprentice Flak Leggings, 233 durability, right? And as you can see, like, you could really get some very valuable early game loot to kind of, you know, help you on your wipe. All of this stuff up top here is gotcha loot, like this long neck, this AR, this pike. This flak stuff, this minor helmets, like these torches are actually phenomenal for PvP, especially high level ones. I mean, a pistol, like you could really get some strong stuff out of it. Okay, the crystals only go up to Apprentice. They used to go up to Ascendant, but that was broken because you're literally getting Ascendant Fabbies and shotguns out of, you know, <laughs> a gotcha, you know, for just feeding them stuff. Now let's go over what you actually want to feed these guys. All right. So, as you might see, I have a bunch of snow owl pellets in both of these guys. The reason why I have... Oh, I don't have any snow owl pellets in this one. But the reason why I have snow owl pellets in these guys is because if you put snow owl pellets in them, right, he gets a bonus to when he drops the crystal to where it's a higher chance that it's going to be a rare crystal to where you can actually get loot from. 
okay what you could do is you could put a snow owl right in front of the gotchas and your gotcha will actually just pick up the snow owl pellets as the snow owl like pukes in front of them so that's you know an automated farm that you don't have to worry about now let's go over what you actually feed these guys because the, you could literally feed these guys anything in the game so that's one thing i will know don't put you know some of the best stuff in here like industrial cookers or industrial grills or send it fabric created snipers in here because he'll eat them right so you don't want to put the stuff that you want to lose in here it doesn't matter what it is he'll, he'll chow it down right so depending on what you feed this guy right uh depends on how many crystals he's going to churn out per minute right and the best things that you could feed these guys for the fastest amount of crystals is going to be smithies electrical wires and pipes right these are all phenomenal things to feed these guys and it, that will drop as many crystals as fast as possible if that's what you're interested in however this can get kind of expensive because he does eat this stuff 20 stacks at a time right so what I would recommend is not to take this route, but just to kind of feed him stone. That's kind of like what most people do. And wait the time, like go out, go do stuff. When you come back to your base, there'll be a whole bunch of crystals laying on the floor. So that's going to be cool. Yeah, so just pump him full of stone because it's a lot cheaper. And it just takes a little bit longer for him to drop the crystals, which is no big deal. All right, so the next thing that we're going to go over is his sadness debuff. When your gotcha is sad... You won't be able to tame it and the crystals that he produces are going to be a lot less effective right they're not going to be nearly as good the yields that you get from the crystals are not going to be nearly as much uh less chance of getting rare crystals and so forth okay so there's a couple different ways to tell if the gotcha is sad the very first way is there's notable differences in their face uh as you could probably see the second way is if you go right up to your gotcha and look at him, he actually won't look you in the eyes. He'll just kind of like look around and like, you know, look away from you because he's all sad. And the third way is the sparkles on his back are going to be a lot more dull. Okay, so those are the three ways to tell if your gotcha is sad. The ways your gotcha could be sad, okay, is the same gender around. Okay, number one. Uh, these guys are both males and that's why they are both sad. So you have to they have to be 12 foundation distances apart uh, for them to not get the sadness debuff from one one each other so you make sure when you tame gotchas like you want to keep them far apart if they're opposite genders all right so that's one one big thing because that way you're just going to absolutely ruin your crystals okay the next thing is this also happens to wild gotchas as you can see like he's got the sadness debuff right here and if you hurt them as well that'll also give the sadness debuff so you don't want to keep these guys hurting at all and for instance let me just drop some you know metal walls since he is sad he literally just will not eat the walls like you can't tame him so that's no bueno so now let's go over the yields for the crystals okay depending on the rarity of the resource is going to depend on the yield that you're going to get of that resource for common resources you're going to get a stack of 120 at max yield right there 120 fragmented green gems for uncommon rarities you're going to get 60 as you can see i just found 60 congealed gas balls and then for rare resources you're going to get a stack of 30 okay this can go up and this can go down based if your gotcha has a sadness debuff or his crafting skill isn't above 160 percent then your yields are going to be less than the max all right so sticking with his abilities okay this guy really only has two rideable abilities. The, the thing is, you're not going to really ride a gotcha. You're just kind of use them to produce stuff. So use a standard left click attack. And then he also has this right click attack. It's just the arm that you swing with. And it does not do any amount of damage. And they're pretty slow creatures. So don't worry about using these guys as a war dinosaur. Because they're not. These are the guys you stick inside of your base. And they don't see sunlight until they die. Alright, so the last thing that we're going to go over for the gotchas is where you can actually find these guys. Uh, there's two, only two maps you can find them on, uh, Extinction and Genesis 2. You can find them in Extinction in the Sunken Forest in the top left of the map. And same thing with Genesis 2, you can find them in the top left of the map, just kind of roaming out in the wild. Okay, uh, but that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please leave a like and subscribe because I mean the absolute world to me. I'm currently on a mission to reach 500 subscribers. And yeah, if you like my content, please go be sure to check out all the other guides I've made. I've made guides by literally every, like almost every other dinosaur in this game. So yeah, uh, peace out and may God bless you all.